Namaste family. Peace and blessings to you all. Thank you for joining my channel. This is the love reading for the first week of January 2021 for the Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node Sign, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, Aquarius. Coming into the prayer before I start the reading. I call forth the most high, known by many names. I'm an Olojumare, Nayame, creator of all things. Let your divine light shine through me. <clears throat> I call my great spirit guides to speak with me. Help me, great spirit, wants help me to see. Show me what is. Show me what I need to see. Give me the answer. Show me the way. Let me know what is going on with the sun, moon, Venus, rising north node sign of Aquarius. This is a love general message, general reading for love. Love. Love, love. Y'all don't want me to do these love readings now, so I need y'all to get excited. <laughs> I need y'all to get excited because I be getting messages and stuff like, "Why you don't do love readings?" I always tell people, you know, for love readings, specific love readings, I like to do personal readings. So you have the book of private readings to get a love reading. But I said for twenty twenty one. I will incorporate it. So for the first week of January 2021, I'm going to do the love readings. Okay, and that's on the state. I chill. I chill. I chill. I chill. All right. So I'm going to keep it rocking. And uh, I'm going to use the same cards that I've been doing with the other signs, which is the, my unicorn, my gypsy, my under the Lenormand, and my romance angels. Which one did I start with? Oh, yeah. I have this beautiful gift for Christmas. And I chose to put... Yes. I need a crystal in here. I need a crystal. Hmm. Where's my carnelian? Where's the carnelian? It's somewhere. But I'm, oh, right here. You guys, I got this beautiful gift this wooden box and I'm, I chose to put Mystic Bees deck I love this deck I chose to put her deck in here it has like this yin yang balance it's in wood it's so beautiful like I wasn't expecting this at all y'all but anyways anywho <laughs> let me get into y'all reading I just wanted to brag a little bit about my um, about my Christmas gift because I wasn't expecting it I got this other beautiful stone, but I'm not going to um, take it out just yet. Okay. Aquarius and love. This is what love messages Love messages for Aquarius. Sun moon Venus. Okay. Ooh, caffeine overload. For me, this caffeine overload is a sign of a lot of energy. Yes. A lot of energy. This person wants to show you a lot of energy. Your person wants to give you a lot of attention. Your person may be getting too much to give you. And just as I say that, your person may be giving you too much attention to the point where you're like, back, back, get up out of my space. Because you have the back kick. You back kicking somebody like, back up, hold up. You in my space. You're doing a little too much. Somebody's doing a little too much in regards to that person. Okay. Okay. So let's get into the romance angels. Something came to mind just before I pulled this card. Something about the timing. Something about someone's being feeling like they're out of time. Either you or them. Because we have unrequited love. So there's a situation in regards to the amount of time, distance between you two. 
There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Something about the timing. Maybe someone's too slow moving towards you. Or there's a delay in them being with you. Something about the timing with this person is all. So it's causing this love to be um, unrequited. This could be a past or a present person here. Let's get a little more for Aquarius. Let's see how I'm going. <clears throat> I need some Miss Caffeine. I need to pick me up. <laughs> and we have here heart to heart conversations. Yeah, you and this person are conversating about the time, the distance, and what's, you know, keeping you to, you know, in this unrequited type of energy. Like what's keeping you guys from really going the distance? And it says here, honest, honestly discuss. Your feelings with each other. You could also be entertaining new people because at the bottom of the deck we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you, there could be someone else that, who has your interest at heart. Okay. Hmm. Get into the gypsy deck for Aquarius and see what's really going on. Let's see what's happening. Y'all, I didn't even do my detox. Y'all know I've been doing my little apple cider vinegar every day. We have here joyfulness. Um, with this joyfulness card, I'm not getting that it's really joyfulness. I'm getting someone has you in a third party situation. There's two females and one male. I feel like someone um, knowingly put you in a third party situation. That also could have made the, yeah. This person could be married or dealing with the baby mother. Thank you. Yeah. Wedding care. This person could definitely be um, in wedding. Whoa. They could be definitely dealing with a karmic. We have enemy, but in reverse. They're trying to leave someone else alone for you. Yeah. They're either trying to get a divorce from this person. Or they're trying to leave this person alone. Again, this is either a wife or an actual baby mother. Or someone that they've been in a very long relationship with. Mm -hmm. They're trying to leave this person for you. But I don't know, Aquarius, if it's going to be enough for you, per se. We're going to get some messages from the um, Mr. B Twin Flame Secrets and Conversations to see, you know, what messages come out to see, you know, what have they not said to you about in regards to love? What's on their mind? What's on their heart? What does Aquarius person have to say? Divine masculines are in deep thought. If this is a feminine, they are in deep thought in regards to you in this situation. Okay. It was my fault because of my pride. I blamed you. Someone um was in denial and they continuously chose to blame you for things, Aquarius. Um, they didn't own up to their part that they played in this separation or breakup or whatever this discouragement is that they're feeling. They did not, you know, take responsibility. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. Don't forget I'm always with you and 5D separation is an illusion. Don't wait for me, my love. Stagnancy delays our union. I will find you. When I hurt you, I hurt myself. Um, I'm getting two different relationships, two different scenarios, Aquarius. Some of your your persons, you were dealing with a runner, someone who didn't want to be committed, someone who wanted to be a player, someone who wanted to, you know, have their cake and eat it too. They were full of pride and ego. For others of you, um, they were dealing with someone else and they continuously hurt you. Um, but now it's like with this deep thought, they're thinking about, you know, why things didn't work out, why things didn't go the way they should have. And that maybe right now is not the right timing for you two, but maybe possibly in the future, you know, things will work itself out. Okay, Aquarius, this was your love message for the first week of January. Come back and see me. Peace.